Hi, I'm going to show you about database normalization today in this video. How you can take your information and turn it into, uh, create a database for it that will be the most efficient it can possibly be. If you're dealing with database normalization, you've probably heard of the, the normal forms and just how bad they are. Um, they're incredibly difficult to read, but I have some summaries of each one. I'd rather read those to you. The first normal form basically states that every column in your database should only contain one piece of information. This means that you should have a first name and a last name column instead of a name column where people put both. Uh, this makes it a lot easier to search by last name uh, if, it's a, if it's its own column. The second normal form basically states that you have to start figuring out what should be parent elements and what should be child elements. Anything, that's a anything that could be a child. For example, if you're doing a website, you're typically going to have a registration process. So users will fill up the, their entries in, the, in that database, but then they're going to do stuff on your website. For example, they could order your products. And the orders would be the subordinate things or the child entries to each user. Each user can have as many uh, orders or child entities as they want. So, and each of those orders can then have child entities. These would be grandchild entities, and that would be the, the actual items in the order themselves. The third normal form is don't be redundant in the child tables, and this basically means foreign, use foreign keys whenever you can. Don't record the user's full name in every single thing that they do. Use their primary key back to refer back to their user table. So let me show you how to, how to do this with an example. I've got this fake um, doctor's practice, and this is their ex a sample of their Excel spreadsheet that they've been using to um, do everything up to this point. And so they would record the client's ID and their name, and then what pets that they have, and then what pet type they were, and then which of the different vets they went to. And then here at the end, here's what each animal took as their medicine. Okay, that's not bad. What's the most parent thing here? What's the What should be the top level? Well, my first inclination was that each client should be the top level thing. But each client goes to a vet. So each of these vets would actually be the, the parent thing. So each veterinary clinic could have hundreds of clients. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So pet, or vets are gonna be the first level, then clients, then clients may even consider them kids, but the clients are then going to have as many pets as they want. Pets then come with uh, different types. Okay, that's pretty simple. We can make a list for those. Um, and then each pet can be on none, one, or even multiple medicines. And we can approach this uh, several different ways. If we know a pet's only ever going to be on a couple of different meds, we could actually make it so that we have, say, three med columns in our pets database. But what will give us more flexibility over time is if we have a, a, our own separate medicine database. So let me start at the top with the veterinary ID and the, their names. So I'm going to create a new database here in PHP My Admin, veterinary there it is. My first table is going to be vets. I'm going to record only what's in here. We could record a lot more, but we need an ID and a name. So we really only need two pieces of information. Vet key. And they have numbers built in there, but they really don't matter that much. We can go with a regular auto increment if we'd like. We can mess up their um, way of doing things if we'd really like to. And then vet underscore name. In case they get long ones, we can have 20 character ones. So let's put these in here. I can insert, I'll let the computer figure out the name. We had pets are us. It's pets. And we had. Pets are us, pet vet, and pet care. If I go under 
browse now. There we go. We've got three of them in there, and each one has their own unique identifier. It's different than what's in the database, but this will actually be a little bit more efficient. Okay. So now let's go to make a new table for our clients. This will be clients. Clients need a key, which in our case is going to be a four-digit number that they've already set up. We probably shouldn't mess with that one. These vet IDs, it doesn't look like we're going to have too many, but they may already be using these client IDs on a whole bunch of things. And the same could be said over here, but I'm going to show you that you have a little fluidity here. This one, however, I think really should stay what we have. So I'm going to keep that as four. It's not going to be an auto increment, but it is going to be the primary. It cannot be null. And okay. Clients. Let's see what info they've got. The name, well, this breaks one of the normal forms. We're supposed to have a first name and a last name field, okay? And then we also need to record the number of the vet that they go to. So let's do client first name, bar chart 20, client's last name, bar chart 20, and client's vet F key. I like to designate mine as being a foreign key. It's going to be an integer of 2, which is exactly what it is in the vets, and it will refer back to that info. So I'm going to save this. Okay. So this means in my clients, I can put in our first one, which is Barbara Hennessy. She does have her own ID number, which is 2173. And her vet ID is she goes to pet vet. I need to look at this. So vets is let me browse it one more time. Pet vet is number two. Now before I do this. It is actually possible to set this up so that they're they're linked together. Um, under the structure of my clients, there's a place in PHP My Admin called Relation View. What I can do is I can take var f key and say that it's supposed to be link, linked to the veterinary clinic database, the vet's table, the vet's key. When I save this, what ends up happening in my browse is that, you see, I've got the client's ID, her name, last name, and then vet F key, and this is actually clickable. When I click on this, it goes and finds the veterinary clinic that has that same number. This is the power of a relational database. I'm going to do the same for the pets here in just a second. So I need a new one. This one's going to be my pets. Pets are going to have, they're going to need their own identification number, which we don't have anywhere. So I'm going to make that primary. It's going to be auto increment. Uh, we'll make it five. That means we could have 100,000 pets in here. That should be pets underscore key. Pets can have a name. Not too worried about pet names. It doesn't have to be quite as nice as uh, human names. Pets type. I could literally have a, an entire database, another table of the different animal types. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let it type things in. The longest thing I think we could have is probably elephant. I don't know. We'll call that 20 characters just in case. And then pets client F key. Foreign key. And that's going to be four integers. I'm going to save this. Back in clients, I'm sorry, back in pets, I can go to the relation view and say that my I'm supposed to link this to the client's key. Now, when I input a pet, this gets a little tricky. Pets have their own identifier, and she's got, let's see, Sam is a dog. Sam is a dog. And look, 
there's the this would be a drop down list of the entire client list. So this way I can just pick the one I want. So in my pets, I now know that Sam is a oops, he is a dog. And if I link on 2173, I know that that is Oh look, that's Barb Hennessy's dog and she goes to pet vet. This is what you really want to have happen in your databases, is being able to link up this chain. Most often, this is done through joins. Now, I can keep going, but I think that this you start to see uh, we can do the same thing as medications, um, sort of, but uh, this is as far as I want to take this for now. Hope that helps.